Hello, friends and strangers on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with a... Oh, I almost almost forgot. It is a coffee request. Oh my goodness, I'm excited for this one. Today we're checking out another King Giz and the Wiz Liz, as I like to call them. But officially they are called King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. And we are checking out a live performance of their song Magma. I've been told that it's really amazing, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, before we jump into that, though, blah, 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 blah. before we jump into that, though, I do want to give a big thank you to everybody who has been supporting me on my Patreon, supporting me on Coffee, supporting me through YouTube. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for listening to music with me. Without you, this channel really wouldn't exist. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate you. So thank you for being here. I'm really excited to check this song out. So let's jump into it. <laughs> Alrighty, once again, this is King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard with their song Magma live at Red Rocks. Uh, it looks like this was last year in June. Um, this song that we're about to watch or this video we're about to watch is not coming directly from the uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard channel. So if you would like to check out any of their uh, official uploads, please click the second link in my description. The first link will take you to the video I'm about to react to. You can go check that out. Shout out to that channel for providing us this video. But if you'd like to check out more of King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard from their official channel, click the second link in my description. You'll be able to go from there and check out their official uploads. So let's jump into this. Again, the song is called Magma, and this is live at Red Rocks last year in June. Let's check this out. Now, I have never heard this song before, so this is my very first experience with this song. Let's jump into it. That sounds excited. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my gosh, that drum set is beautiful. Um, oh, I guess I can't get the frame from skipping back and forth, but what a beautiful drum set. Sorry, my leg is just, wow, what a pretty color it has. Also, saxophone, loving it. Let's keep going. Look how pretty that drum set is. For the record, you will never see mid rolls in my videos unless YouTube puts them there. I do not put them there. I just, ooh, mm, I'm gonna keep my opinion to myself, but let's keep listening. Exchange for a bird. I'm a drill, I drown the earth, take a time to go and see the baby bird. Magma, essence, blues in the molten rock, blues in fluorescence, melting all within its presence. Forever creeping with an essence, destroying to repent. A magma god ever present. I live in debt, a bathing glow, set to rain the death of this must. I should go ahead and like pull the lyrics up and be reading them alongside this so you know, i've got my phone here i'm gonna go ahead and like um pull up the lyrics i'll, I'll cut this out if i can remember mm. all righty i've got the lyrics right in front of me and i'm just gonna like 
you know, it's like on my phone, I'm going to read along to it. Uh, read, along, read along as I'm watching the video. All right, let's keep listening. So Mary Goose, praise the return of G.I. Joe, brewing beneath the magma ships, heavenly delicious cargo. Digging deep, very deep, all the Lord and God that sits beneath the feet, great abyss, operates burn in the pit, we can sow. Subterraneans are the skin tar and the neutron star that makes from ether a vessel weaver, obsidian cleaver, make believer. difficult not to imagine a volcano erupting at this moment, isn't it? Maybe that's just me. Let's keep listening, though. Sorry for interrupting so much. This is very thought-provoking, and I'm liking it. But I'll try not to pause for a while and just listen, okay? <laughs> felt very steady and chaotic at the same time much like you know maybe meta you know musically metaphorically like what the flowing magma from a just erupted volcano might be like destroying everything around it that's what i imagined but you know the song's called magma and he's just singing about um what seems to be literally magna magma so this is fascinating i love it i love it uh, i wonder what's you know, there's like a calm now so i wonder what's gonna happen let's keep listening <laughs> Green. 
yes. Okay, I'll take it back a little bit because it feels like it's building up. But I just had a thought and a little bit of a memory. I remember learning in elementary school the difference between lava and magma. And if I remember right, magma is what's still underground and lava is like, you know, the bit that shoots out of the volcano. So what I was like commenting on earlier about like volcanoes was completely off. Uh, what this song is actually reminding me of is like, the potential underneath our feet you know what i think you know what i mean like the potential of that magma to come out and become you know destructive on the surface and not just be like where it's at that's what it's really making me think about now that i remembered like the difference between lava and magma because the song's called magma and like i'm like glancing down at the lyrics as i'm like listening to um this amazing like guitar and uh and synth and saxophone like all c and drums just all coming together really chaotically and it's just kind of making me think about like just imagine like the absolute destruction just below us you know what i mean like yeah that's what it makes me think of it's just like just imagine that and like as i'm imagining it i'm like listening to the music and it's it feels like this wonderful mu musical metaphor for all of that it's very chaotic yet it's very steady much like the destructive flow of magma whether underground or once it becomes lava above ground yeah that's what it makes me think of i took it back a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and just like listen i'm so tempted to just close my eyes and get lost but at the same time i want to watch them perform so i'm just gonna go back and forth between those i guess um yeah let's keep listening <laughs> so sorry for the interruption i just got a phone call from my son's school and i didn't want to miss it just in case you know what i mean but let's get back into it all right if i remember right we were really rocking out he was coming back to uh some vocals reiterating what he was singing before which is kind of like the mood i was getting was like in case you didn't hear me the first time magma let me tell you about it and I, yeah i like it let's keep listening in fact i might let him close it out let's see <laughs>
Show closer, wasn't it? Such a super simple. Wow. See you in a couple of. Bye. <laughs> all right, so wow. Okay, that was a lot. There was a lot going on there. There's like no way I could comment on all of it in a first time reaction. There really isn't. But there was a lot going on there. I could tell they were really having fun with the end of that one. Um, it looked like it was a show closer. Probably the encore or no encore involved. That was just the last song of the performance. Um very great way to close it out it looked there at the end that they really were just kind of messing with each other and having fun which was really fun and silly to watch um what an amazing song i feel like there's a lot of poetic stuff going on in the lyrics uh i thought i'd take a chance to like read the lyrics as i was watching which was a it, it was a choice i don't know if i'm going to do that again i think next time i'll just read the lyrics a ahead of time if i'm going to watch a live performance of this band instead of trying to watch both because like being torn between them was I don't know if I like that very much this mu this time around. I don't think I got a chance to really fully focus on either. So, sorry about that. But, lyrically, it felt very poetic. Like, I felt like I was missing a lot. It felt like the magma itself was a metaphor for something. And, like, you know, at first I thought we're literally talking about magma. The song's about nature and, like, the, 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 you know, the profound ideas and poetic ideas behind this one piece of nature. But, like, and maybe it still is that. I don't know. But there were some other lyrics that just kind of seem to have another theme to them that I did, didn't quite grasp and this video has really gone on long enough so I don't know if I should you know just take the time to read over them again so fans of the band please feel free to give me your insight on this song and um and everything let me know was is like the studio version of the song much much different than this live performance I'm curious about that should I check out the studio performance in my and you know like my free time possibly another reaction I don't know I'm pretty behind on things already but um I, I imagine their shows are so much fun. Like, just watching it through video was just really, really fun. Um, even in the daytime, like, I think this is the first time I've seen them, like, in, an, in a space that has, like, did, no, I don't know if it, I don't know. I lose track, y'all, but I, I like this band. I like this band. They seem like they have a lot of energy. They put a lot into every performance. My goodness, just so much between the, the saxophone, which barely sounded like a saxophone by the end of it, and the, and the foot pedals and the synth. Not, maybe it wasn't synth, I didn't see any keyboards, but like all the different effects they were adding, like they really put a lot into this performance, into this experience, and it's beautiful. And you can see that they're really enjoying it. And I really would like more insight on what the song's about, because I think I'd appreciate it more if I knew, uh, like the next time I hear it. Man, I really rambled on this one. This was a good one, though. Really good one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you, everybody who's made it this far in the video. It's, oh, goodness. Yeah, that's a pretty long one. Really looking forward to checking out more from this band. I see that they have a lot of music that I need to check out. I'm really looking forward to all of it. Thank you so much to the copy supporter who requested this one. I appreciate your donation for my channel. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you want to check out more music from King Giz and the Wizliz, click the second link in my description. It will take you to their official channel. The first link is the one I reacted to. It is from a fan channel, I am assuming. So shout out to them for providing that to us. Yes, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.